So this is gonna be a quick review of the mini bike, a complete build. I think this is done, at least I'll keep it like this for, for a while. I don't know if I'm gonna actually disassemble this. My original plan was to, to race, have fun with it, and uh, then take it back down to kind of your standard regular mini bike that I can just kind of cruise around. Maybe I'll keep it like this, I really like it. So basically, it's a, it's a completely stock Predator 212. Completely stock, the key, that uh, advanced timing key, that's been kind of filed down. I'm not sure exactly how much timing it advances, <laughs> quite honestly. I think about a two or four degree advanced key, and then I file it down more to give me more uh, more timing, obviously, and I'm not sure, it's probably six to eight or so. Uh, stock flywheel, you can see I build this is like a 10 gauge, uh, eighth inch or so. Uh, plate of steel going over the uh, housing in case something happens and it blows. Uh, I'm not gonna lose <laughs> body parts. Uh, this is kind of an added uh, safety, but honestly, I don't think it's ever gonna blow. Stock valve springs, so it doesn't rev high, and I don't see it happening. I we've ran those. Um, set up similar to this on, on, on tractors and small engines like that they don't really blow on the stock valve springs they just kind of well uh, valve float and rpms are relatively low so uh, completely stock as far as that goes stock carburetor i did jet it uh drilled the jet <laughs> with the 16th inch bid uh completely just eyeballed it drilled it uh idles fine because the idle is completely different circuit idles just fine uh, you can get it going, cruising 5-10 miles an hour or so, but it, it, it just kind of, you know, it, it doesn't want to go. It's just way too rich. You give it any gas and it just kind of acts like a two-step in a car, which kind of sounds cool. Um, what else? Torque converter, governor deleted, obviously. Uh, header, intake, there's no intake, so to speak. So that's all stock, inside rod, a piston is all stock, that's not an original piston. Or rod, uh, I blew that one. This is the one that came out of this engine. I broke it. Rod seems to seems to be okay. I'll keep it for a spare, obviously. Um, what else? This is your generic eBay uh, 30 series torque converter, uh, 65 bucks shipped. Uh, cylinder has been milled, 30 thou stock valve components and everything else uh, rocker arms push rods and everything uh, different spark plug I, I don't know if it does much or not uh, what else what else what else I think this is it so it's a tan tooth I believe sprocket on the torque converter and a 53 tooth sprocket in the rear I'm thinking actually about changing that to maybe like a 45 40 give it a little more top end and not be so violent off the line for nitrous using my uh, just just car bottle really wheelie bar built like this I made it to where sitting like this it has a few inches once I actually sit on it and the tire pressure is a little lower than this uh, it's about a half an inch or so off the ground the rear wheels so when I launch it the front wheel comes up and uh, I found out this, this is kind of the best setup I've had it many different ways I've had it way too low where it's just it's it's touching the ground as I sit on it and it seems to spin. It doesn't have the weight transfer and the uh, actual load on the rear tire. So it wasn't, uh, the acceleration didn't feel quite that good. I've had it way too high where I launch it in the front and it comes up too high and it comes on the wheelie bar way too hard. And it spins the rear wheel and uh, didn't like that too much. I think about a half an inch or so off the ground is good. And once it's loaded, uh, I, I found out that to be probably the best at least for this bike it works good uh, dry shot uh, Makita cordless drill battery just kind of shove it in there and tape it <laughs> not a whole lot to it uh, single solenoid a quick and dirty uh, relay in there brakes front and back so that's that all works good and I think this is about it, really. 
uh, carb, like I said, it's been re-drilled, so except the nitrous, and I've found out that it works the best. Uh, maybe I'll play with the jetting a little bit more. It feels okay now. 102 octane gas. I ran that on 86 before. That's how I blew the piston, and I was way too lean. Now I re drilled the jet, and uh, the way it is now, it, I, it it feels really, really good where it is. So I don't know if I can get it much better than that. I like it as is. Like I said, I'm gonna probably keep it for a while, and uh, I don't know. Probably gonna blow this engine up anyways. <laughs> We'll see how that goes. If something happens, I'll definitely make another video of it.